Nairobi City has experienced a tremendous transformation in water provision as part of the war against the spread of coronavirus. We had uh, quick interventions to help the people in informal settlements. 93 boreholes in three months. In this special documentary, The Journey of That Transformation. This is the first incident we had water drilled, sunk, running out in a record two weeks. The stakeholders and what it means to livelihoods and the entire war against COVID-19 pandemic. Members of the press and fellow Kenyans, I want to inform you that the Ministry of Health has confirmed the first coronavirus case in Kenya. This is the announcement that brought the reality home with President Uhuru Kenyatta later making it clear that the disease was a big challenge that required solidarity and the support of everyone. Make no mistake, we are at war and we must be together if we shall win this war. Use of face masks in public, social distancing, staying at home, sanitizing and washing hands are some of the key measures the government enforced in line with the World Health Organization guidelines. Every shilling we save in salaries and allowances is one that we shall use towards face masks, medical supplies, specialized equipment to support the most vulnerable members in our society through the provision of water and food items and in support of any other initiatives needed by our nation in this war. To that end, I have also directed that the Nairobi Metropolitan Service to not only continue but to expand their provision of free water to all our informal settlements. Following that directive, the Nairobi Metropolitan Service, in collaboration with the Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, and Athi Waterworks Development Agency, swung into action to ensure the vulnerable in the city have access to free, clean water. That led to the implementation of the independent water supply projects in informal settlements. We had to intervene. Uh, first and foremost, informal settlements were completely cut off from water. There is no water piping in some of the settlements at all. Uh, just look at uh, Mukuru, Kibera, there is no water in the taps. We were allocated uh, Kenya shillings, 620 million, in the last supplementary two budget of this financial year. And that is the money that we are, we are spending in doing uh, those works. The implementation of the initiative has been going on in phases. Phase 1 saw completion of 51 boreholes, the second one 42 boreholes, making it 93 by the end of June 2020. The component we were doing is, one, sinking the borehole itself, developing the boreholes, providing an elevated steel tank, reticulating the water to the consumers, doing the water kiosk, power connection, and uh, at the end of, the, of it all, having a, a powerhouse that will be able to supply power to this system. So it is a complete community water project that is independent of the normal water supply in the city. I have not fallen short of being told by some of my colleagues that it's taken 24 months to drill a forehole, to equip it, and for water to run. This, that in the past incidents, we had water drilled, sunk, running out in a record two weeks. It means, therefore, working together, we are able to do so much more within such a short time as has been demonstrated with the emergence of the COVID pandemic. NMS is catering uh, 
on one of the transferred functions within Nairobi County. So we have to collaborate because uh, whatever budget that we have for water services uh, with the current shortages was in not enough. So we had to work hand in hand with Ministry of Water in, in order for us to achieve our objectives. Earthy water within the metropolis is actually the implementing. They are the ones that lay the infrastructure uh, for all the water within uh, the metropolis. All the metropolis is the larger five counties. Nairobi Water is the administrator. They are the ones that charge water, distribute water, and so forth. So we had to work with these two bodies and Ministry of Water in order to be, for us to be able to achieve our target. We have over 14 million litres per day that has been brought into the Infopo settlements across the city, uh, targeting about 750,000 people uh, daily. Beneficiaries are happy. The free, clean water is changing their lives. Initially, we've never been getting water very cl closer to us. And uh, again, water has been coming, but not clean water. We've been also paying exorbitantly. 20 liters jerrycan for 20 shillings. But at the moment we are now being uh, getting ease because the water is just within the community. Cynthia Mora is a vendor in Lunga Lunga slums. She sells chips to earn a living. Her business requires utmost cleanliness. And guess what? One of the water kiosks is adjacent to her area of operation. Kitambo, tulikuwa na challenge ya maji sana. Kwa siku nilikuwa natumia 30 bobu kununua maji. Lakini tangui tangi retu hapa nyuma yangu nimefaidika sana. Sawa, wateja wangu wa 3 sasa hii wanaona nikiwa msafi. Maji kwa hapa nyuma yangu. Sinunui, na I am sana kupabana na I jaga la corona na watu kuosha mukono na kutumia kupata usafi. Ziko kibera, ziko mukulu, ziko getari maligo, uko kagemi, kawagwale, lirota, madale, tumejega izi miradi kila mahali hapa mukulu ziko visima eh, tisa tofauti kila mahali mukulu kwa jenga primary hizo and for us to get a much clearer picture of the components of each of the projects we now join boni nyandwaro the manager in charge of waterworks infrastructure at the athi waterworks development agency this is our lady of nazareth primary school site yes. On this site, we have a borehole. The borehole is about uh, slightly over 250 meters deep. 250 meters deep? deep yes, uh -huh. yes. And uh, it's open in the borehole. Mm. Inside the borehole, we've installed a pump. Uh, this one is showing you how the water from the tank is being distributed. Uh, this one is to serve the, the schools. Uh, the schools around the institutions they are being served from this pipe. This one is going to the water kiosk outside and serving the community. It has a T, and this pipeline is heading about 300 meters away from this location 
uh, to serve the community. For the pump to function, we have a pump house. The pump now pumps water from the borehole to the elevated tank. The elevated tank is 18 meters high. We installed a 24,000 liters capacity steel tank. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has been championing improved service provision during this COVID-19 period, inspected the Kiboro water supply in Mathare, Mathare North Community Water Supply, and Kibera Community Water Supply on 30th June 2020. This was part of the activities marking 100 days of the Nairobi Metropolitan Service. The president hailed NMS and his partners for achievements registered so far, including provision of free water to vulnerable communities. The evidence of this progress can already be seen. Our neighborhoods are beginning to look cleaner, and we have hundreds of young people, especially those in vulnerable communities in the city, who are today earning a living, and thousands of households are receiving water closer to home. I open at 8 and close at 6.30 in the evening. People are behaving well here. They are getting free water to control the COVID. Starting mid-July uh, 2020, we are going to enhance this investment to other parts of the city and also to improve on what we have done. We are also going to include other areas in the metropolis, that is Kiselian, Kitengela, some parts of Dika, Kiyadutu, some parts of Kiabu, some parts of Lemuru, uh, some parts of Kikuyu as well, where we still have some informal settlements and people do not have access to water. In this initiative, according to the Principal Secretary for Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, it is the responsibility of the Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Company to oversee the management of the facilities. At the end of that, now we call upon the Nairobi Water, um, uh, Water and Sewerage Company to provide the community-based organizations to run these, uh, these supplies. Because we want to make them owned by the, by the communities themselves so that they can be able to take care of them.